At its core, ReZero is a story about becoming a better person and learning to love yourself. This can be shown through the main character Subaru, who starts off having a very toxic love towards Amelia and a massive inferiority complex, but learns to see Amelia as an equal and respect her wishes. As for Subaru's inferiority complex, he still struggles with it, but at least he's making progress in overcoming it. These themes can also be found in ReZero's female lead, Amelia, and there is no better place to look than ReZero's fourth ending, Believe in You. Spoiler warning if you have not watched up to season 2 of ReZero. Believe in You feels like a part 2 for ReZero's second ending, Stay Alive, which is a very simple ending that has a great song, nice visuals, and of course, focuses on Amelia. Stay Alive focuses on Amelia's life before or without Subaru, as Amelia feels very lonely and we can see that with the sad vibe the song carries and how we only see Amelia in the ending. Believe in You starts out very similar to Stay Alive, conveying that sad and lonely feeling. In the opening shot, we see Amelia standing on a lake as she is surrounded by water bubbles and ripples. The whole world is devoid of color and nothing is moving. I really like what the animators did here. At the surface, pun intended, there doesn't look like there is much here, just very nice visuals and nothing more to it. I can't blame anyone for thinking that, as I thought the same when I first saw this ending. I think this scene does a great job of showing how Amelia's life and worldview was before she met Subaru. Amelia's life before Subaru was very lonely. She only had Puck to talk to, and everyone in the mansion was very distant and rarely interacted with one another. Her days were very bleak and that is perfectly shown as there is no color in the scene, devoid of life and happiness. Amelia's worldview is represented by the bubbles around her. Amelia has lived a very sheltered life up to this point. She was stuck indoors often when she was a kid, and due to her heritage, many would not interact, much less talk to her out of fear of her potential connection to the Witch of Envy, Satella. Also, it's interesting how Amelia has her eyes closed the entire time here, as if she's unaware of what is going on or chooses to ignore it, which might be a neat callback to a pattern that I noticed when I made my Styx Helix analysis. I might be looking too much into this, but in a way, Amelia closing her eyes might be a reference to how Puck has forbidden her to look into mirrors, as all of the bubbles around her show her reflection. I also think it's worth noting that Amelia has her hands clasped together. Normally, when someone does this, they might have unsettling thoughts, fear, anxiety, or insecurities. Hmm, I wonder who might fit that category this season. In season 2, Amelia definitely meets all of the checkboxes, feeling that she's not capable and always causing trouble for those that she cares about, the constant fear of being unable to complete the trial and free the sanctuary, the anxiety of not being able to rely on Subaru and Puck, or being insecure about how she might not be the same person once her memories return. Following that scene, we then have a close-up of Amelia's face as we start to see the shadow on her begin to slowly fade as Amelia opens her eyes. As we cut to a single ripple on the water, right before the sun rises behind Amelia and lights up the world with life and color. I love this scene, not only because of how beautiful it looks, but this scene supports my theory of the black and white world representing Amelia's life and worldview before Subaru. The way I see it, the one ripple in this scene is the domino effect or butterfly effect that begins to change Amelia's life for the better. And that ripple is when Subaru saved her from the loot house. Had Subaru not been there, Amelia would have died at the loot house. She would have never have gotten close with the other members of the Roswell mansion and never have broken out of her shell. Finally, we get to talk about when the ending goes from being good to amazing. Once the color kicks in, the visuals are breathtaking and there's nothing but good vibes. The world is vibrant with color and movement. Countless ripples can be seen throughout the water. The water bubbles are moving upwards around Amelia, kind of like they're evaporating. We then have a close-up of Amelia who is smiling now, before closing her eyes and opening them once again as the shadow on her begins to fade. This is probably a bit of a stretch, but I also think the shadow over Amelia starting to go away is a sign of her stepping out of Satella's shadow and becoming her own person and being respected by everyone else instead of feared as a second coming of Satella. Given at the end of the season, Amelia has earned the respect of Rom, Beatrice, the villagers, and many others. We then see Subaru standing before Amelia with a gorgeous view of the sun rising. There's not much here to analyze, it's just a nice scene that shows Subaru and Amelia seeing eye to eye for once and seeing each other as equals. 
We then transition to a bright blue sky as we see the water bubbles continue to evaporate. Following the scene is easily my favorite in the ending. We see shots of Amelia and Subaru looking at one another as Subaru extends his hand out to Amelia and they hold hands. Before we end with a shot of the lake with a rainbow in its reflection and one last ripple. This scene melts my heart. It perfectly captures what the door scene is all about. Subaru learns to see Amelia as an actual person and not a doll that does whatever he wants and for him to admire. In the start of Subaru becoming Amelia's knight, for real this time, to support her and love her no matter what happens. And how can I forget the true start of a romantic relationship between the two? But if you thought that wasn't enough, in episode 22 of season 2, if you watch until the end of the episode, there is a pleasant surprise waiting for you there. There is in fact a second version of this ending, where you see Subaru and Amelia holding hands in the reflection of the water ripple in the final shot of the ending. The absolute mad lads of White Fox pulling this out on the episode called Happiness Reflected on the Water Surface. They got me on the verge of tears for real. Believe in you, while not being the most complex or deep ending, is certainly no pushover and definitely earned its place as one of the best endings that ReZero has to offer. It rewards those who have been invested in Subaru and Amelia's journey and relationship together and makes you really believe in a bright future for the two. Even if ReZero Season 3 never came out and we never got any more ReZero openings or endings, I would rest easy knowing that they left on a high note with Believe in You. Thank you for watching, and if you would like to see more anime openings or endings analyzed, leave a like or even consider subscribing. I hope you all have a great rest of your day.